Prize or surprise? Surprise! Oh, it sounds surprise. mysterious. Surprise. Good morning, you guys. Before uh, the kids show you guys their surprise, I'm gonna throw in some potatoes into the air fryer. I'm gonna make the grandma special, but in the air fryer. So let's try it out. So over here, these are actually from yesterday. We marinated all the potatoes already, so let's put them inside the air fryer. You guys ready to see the magic? Yeah. yeah. What magic? The surprise magic. Here, Zach. Yeah, my man, Tom. Careful. So who wants orange juice? Me. Just these two cups? Ooh. No, What's me, me. Gonna me. Like you're me. It a lot. What's have gonna happen? What's gonna happen? It's turning. Look. If it's slowly turning. Guys. Guys. Stuff is happening. Hendrix, how is it? Is the orange juice good? Hendrix, yeah. what is happening? Um, Zaki enjoys it. Remember. Zaki, you let it sit on all the way. Look, look, you let it sit on all the way. Oh, look, my, my ice cubes are turned to orange. Hendrix is turning yeah. dark blue. Nah, 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 Mine's nah. just turning blue. Mine is just turning Purple. Alex, look. The camera's pointed at you. Wait, it's blue. It's actual blue now. Whoa. I'm the teacher. She wants to blue. So it's just your skeleton. Hold it. Oh, boy. Look at that. Let go. Mario. Oh. That's a oh. I'm chasing my skeleton, buddy. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, it shows me skeleton on here. Guys, there's a show. <gasps> something cool when you do this. When you put it's your face. finger on there. Okay, it's you a ghost face. Whoa, face. It's, it's a dark ghost face. It's kind of faint though. You have to hold it. Go? Hold it harder. It's okay, the potatoes are really, really good. They came out crispy and still like um, nice and juicy on the inside. Right now, I'm doing the bacon, but you can only do like four pieces at a time. So, and one of them exploded. How did it get all the way over there? All right, you guys, so I'm really excited because our new leather fly swatter just came. It's really cool. And all our other ones keep breaking, and this one, like the leather is definitely not gonna break. The metal seems pretty good, so hopefully this works well. And also the Amish made it, so. <laughs> they did, it says it's all, like they are made yeah. by Amish. It's on the paper. Yeah, so this is really cool. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. I think it was less than $20. Eliza, why are you sitting there? Eliza, why are you sitting there? I just want to see it. If the rice is done. <gasps> oh, how many how many minutes left? Two. Two minutes. Then you can finally eat. Are you excited? Yeah. You guys, I bought the last garlics. I'm at Trader Joe's right now. I just got inside. I also found these really gorgeous roses that I like have to get. They're so beautiful. But now we're gonna go. Get some orange chicken. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some Kung Pao for sure. Love the Kung Pao. And also orange chicken, two of these. And I can't find Cauliflower Kung Pao. Oh no, I think it's all gone. This is new. Oh, I'm sad. I was gonna make the cauliflower tonight. Hmm, let's see what else we can find. Gnocchi. All right, you guys, I just got home from going out. Um, got 
got some pizzas. Pretty excited about that. And then I got these really pretty flowers from Mom. Those are gorgeous. I got my garlic sauce. Hold on, baby. I'm going to show you in a second. I got orange chicken and I got Kung Pao chicken and tempura chicken from Trader Joe's. But I'm really excited the most about the flowers. So mom was making tempura basil and she made some tempura <laughs> zucchini as well right there. This is and yummy. maruya. And maruya, which is potato or bananas. bananas. Plantains, which are right it's over here. <laughs> yeah, and these have sugar on them, so those are like sweet. And then these will have salt. Also, update on the wall. Supposedly, the city is supposed to come tomorrow and do an inspection and all that stuff. So hopefully we can get all this stuff situated and the wall can go back up and my room can go back to how it was because I'm not liking it like this. Stuff is over here because I didn't want it to get dirty, so all the cushions and everything. Alright, we're gonna do a taste test. And I'm really excited to try the basil. It looks really good. So there's that. That is so good, Mom. The basil is so fresh. That's so weird. I thought it would be weird tasting. Mmm. Oh. It tastes really good if you eat it with, like you have both flavors in your mouth. Mmm. It's so good. You need to make more of this basil. So you can eat more of it. <laughs> Also, these roses are so beautiful. Look at mom put it here with some freshly cut hydrangeas. Uh, these roses are the most gorgeous ever. If anyone knows what they're called, please let me know so we can buy some and grow them in the back of the house. So here's dinner. We have some orange chicken. We have our tempura veggies. And then we also have the bananas. Oh, so yummy. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you first of all that if you guys have never tried um, the tempura basil and the um, tempura squash, I think it was the zucchini, so so good, fresh from the garden and it was exquisite and it paired amazingly with the orange chicken and it was so 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 good. I don't know how like, mom was like, oh, I didn't think you were going to like um, tempura, basil, da, da, da. And I was like, you are so wrong because it was so delicious. Like, I don't know. Like, the pairing of it was just so good. And then just lightly salted and peppered. It was mwah, so delicious. Uh, but let me tell you that I was pretty sad about there not being any of the tempura uh, cauliflower at Trader Joe's. It all sold out. Which I'm pretty sad about because it was delicious and I was really excited to try and make some tonight. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but luckily it was replaced by the zucchini. And oh my gosh, zucchini and basil, so good. Fresh from the garden too, which makes it a bazillion times better. For some reason, like growing your own vegetables and eating them, like the vegetables just taste so, so fresh. Uh, especially... Like, we're growing um, eggplant right now, and last year's eggplant was so delicious. Like, normally the skin of the eggplant is not very, like, I don't know. Like, normally, like, it doesn't taste the best, and usually, like, my mom will remove it when cooking it. But, um, the eggplant that we grew last year in the backyard, the skin was, like, delicious. Like, it had a taste, and it was good. Um... And I'm really excited to see that sunflower, our one giant sunflower, open up. Uh, Mom 
at the beginning of like growing season or when, when she started like planting all the plants like the seeds and stuff um that was the only sunflower that didn't get eaten like the only seed because um she had them outside and like sometimes like the animals will like eat them um and the sunflowers were really popular the sunflower seeds but one survived and that is the lone giant sunflower in the backyard and it's massive and it's it's gonna open up very soon um hoping it's probably gonna be like in the beginning of next week because like it's starting to open already some of the little you can see the yellow petals popping out so i'm really really excited to see what it looks like um and yeah like <laughs> i don't know why i'm just like so excited over it but it's the first time we've ever successfully grown a well actually any sunflowers at all um mom's tried to grow them uh, in the past and they've always just all gotten eaten and just for some reason this one lucked out uh, So that's really great um, Also today I, uh, I posted my video about what happened in the backyard today and I've talked about it before and I talked about it in yesterday's video and I got a lot of questions today. I feel like it's like one of like a lot like even um, on in like on Instagram, I received a lot of messages as well, like asking like what happened to the wall? Are we taking it down? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make like a whole separate video about it because it's actually really long and really intense. But kind of long story short, um, no, we didn't get like reported by like a neighbor, a jealous neighbor or anything. Like the intrigue is real. That would have been like kind of funny, uh, but like awful at the same time. But no, like our neighbors are great. Um, what happened was basically like our contractor was a little shady, um, and not, and we were told that we were getting, that we got like permits for everything, and that was not the case. So a lot of things like we had to fix, and then the... Uh, that's why, like, a lot of things had to get taken down, rebuilt, da da da, and it's, I know it's, like, a huge waste of money, a huge waste of resources, and it's really, really unfortunate, um, and we cannot find, like, the old contractor or anything, um, and it's just, like, a whole thing, um, with that, uh, we've been dealing, like, with all of this for probably... A year, a little over a year, or a little under a year, about a year, um, is when, because they never finished, like, we never got final inspections for the stuff that we actually do have permits for in the backyard, so then, um, the city contacted us, and we're like, oh, like, we need to come out and do a final inspection, and we're like, okay, and, um, they came out, and, like, they were like, oh, like, you never got a permit for this, and this, and this, and this. And what's really kind of annoying is, is that um, they would come out, and then they would, like, give us, like, a list of, like, some items that we had to fix. And then they would leave, and then we'd fix them, and then they'd come back, and then they'd suddenly find a whole slew of other things that weren't permitted. Um, supposedly, the fireplace is, like... It's not like fire, like the the wall of the fireplace, um, is the last thing, uh, and actually the fireplace wasn't permitted either, but um, we actually do not like the fireplace at all. Um, when we had it built, we didn't know how windy it actually was going to be in that area, and we've tried to turn it on before, but um, it just gets so windy that a we're like scared that's gonna like burn someone burn the house down or it just gets blown out by the wind so it's like well we'll never actually even use it so we actually had we actually um disconnected the gas line to that and then um but i don't know like if we have to actually like cover up the actual fireplace or like get it removed like it's still there but like aesthetically like it's okay like it looks nice um it just it it doesn't work even if we wanted to use it it's no longer connected and it's been severed underground like they literally pulled up the stone um the pavers and they cut the line and all that stuff um so and then the last thing is like the wall though like um 
they said like it had to be like built a certain way or something and they have no clue of knowing how it was built um and it's like a safety issue because it could fall on someone da 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 let me tell you though that that built that wall was built to last like the guys that were working back there had such a hard time like taking it down because it was like intensely built um but we um you're like i guess in our area you're legally not allowed to have um a structure like that built that's five feet or over so we had to like get it cut down to five feet tall so like legally like that's okay and we can like if we wanted we could just leave it like that forever though i don't like, like i know it's like nice that like it's you can see through it um and the reason that we actually put that up was because the sun that comes in through that opening and this was before the tree or the wall like it was so intense like going into the house um during like certain times of the day like we just get so much sun because literally that whole back of the house just get sun all day long. It's like never, there's never no sun right there. It's literally always coming in. Um, so like now, but now it's like the tree is there, like it obstructs like a lot of the light, or a lot of like the intense light and it's pretty nice. And now it's like, oh, like it's kind of nice, but then it's like, mm. So I don't know, like I don't know exactly, but I'm pretty sure mom just wants to have the wall put back the way it was. The kids love it with the TV there, like they like to hang out there, everyone likes to be there. Um, so that's probably what's gonna happen, but we just have to get the wall, like, the wall's already been taken down, right? Um, it's already been, it's already five feet tall. Then they have to, like, get, like, new permits and okayed, and then they have to, like, do, like, go through all, you know, I don't know exactly, but, you know, all that stuff through the city and all that jazz, so, man. <laughs> uh, it's, like, so much, there's so many things that happened, um, so... Let this be <laughs> a warning, like, you might think you have, like, the best contractor ever, um, and they can totally, like, mess you up and lie and, uh, all that stuff, because it has been kind of crazy. Um, we're actually lucky that it's, like, not as crazy as it could have been, but, um, I don't know, I feel like sometimes, I don't know if, like, the city is... Like, I honestly do not know <laughs> because um, that contractor that did our house did work on lots of people's houses, especially in our neighborhood. Um, and the city knows about what happened, but it's like they're almost there. Actually, it does feel not almost like it feels like it does feel like they're punishing us for some reason. Like it's our fault that all that stuff happened. Um, when we, yeah, like, for, oh, like, a year, we've been just trying to fix everything. Um, and it's just, like, so annoying, um, to have to, like, spend all this money to, like, fix stuff, change stuff, literally take things down and put them back up. Um, so it has just been a lot. Um, and it's not, like, a lot of people have also said, like, it was because of, like, like rules in California. Um, all, like, the different counties and cities and stuff in california or whatever they have different like laws and rules about structures and how you can build them and da, 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 how close they can be to the wall to the house next door to your house how tall it can be there's just like so many things and i know like a lot of these rules are put in place um for safety um, there's lots of earthquakes here, fires here, so you want to make sure, like, all these things are okay. Um, so, like, that, like, I'm, like, okay, but, like, the city has kind of been relentless with, um, all the stuff in the back. Like, it's nuts. Um, and the fact that, like, the, when the, uh, inspectors come out to tell us stuff, they never tell us everything all at once. Like, literally, like, they'll... I feel like it's like they're saving it to, like, when they come back and <laughs> inspect something. And they'll be like, oh, this is also something that Like, why can't, like, you just tell us all at once? And it's something that could have just taken, like, a few weeks or a month or a few months has taken, like, a year. And it's just... And then with everything that's going on right now, like, it just makes everything more difficult and all that stuff so i don't know there's a lot more to tell i don't know if you guys want like a whole separate video 
um, which I would gladly make if you got if if I thought any of you guys were interested. So let me know. I feel like a lot of you guys are because I have gotten a lot of messages, a few emails, um, comments in the videos, and like DMs on Instagram about it. And um, so yeah, I don't know. It might be kind of interesting. The story is intense, um, and it's long, and. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that um, we went through, um, so, but I feel like the light is finally visible at the end of the tunnel. I think, like, cross your fingers for me, pray for the family, pray for this house, <laughs> that we can finally get it all done with. I just feel so bad for my parents, too, that they have to go through all this, like, um, like, moving in here. Uh, it's like been their dream to own like a house like this and people do these kinds of sorts of things And then like all the trouble that we've been going through recently with just like the city and all that like it's just like uh but um Hopefully this is ending soon uh, The new contractor that we have working with us has been extremely helpful. They're super nice. They're super awesome And they're trying to like get everything done as quickly as possible um So yeah. Oh my gosh, actually it has been over a year that this started because like just this year is already like, yeah, it's definitely been over a year. It might even be like a year and a half. Anyway, I'm horrible with like timelines. I have like this thing where I can't like I have like I have like a pretty good memory. But like when I place it in time, I'm like one year ago, two years ago, last week. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. But, um, yeah, so that's the end of the video. I love you guys so much. Pray that the inspection goes well for us tomorrow. And I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's vlog what happens with the inspector. So, tune in bright early at 7 a.m. And hopefully this all will have, um, will be closer to a resolution. So, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all. Love you. Bye.